welcome to Sparrow once again. Today, well, now do it again. This time we will be doing Cliff Town. And it can be very tricky. First of all, we're gonna go around these lectures. Around the big thing where you start. And actually collect a few gems that is actually there. Because they could be hiding pretty well. This one you actually want to put fire on all those um, krills. It's called a crow. Because there's actually gems flying out of it. You probably don't know this before later on when you accidentally put fire on them. But yes, there is gems coming out of them. Of course, it's not the same amount of the time, so it can be different. Now, keep an eye up. Normally, you would just go over the bridge here, but first, you actually want to go over here. People usually miss these two over here because they are hidden pretty well. Now, we ram these two, run out to the box, and ram this one from here. Oh. Now we fix our camera and then we reference this guy. That's this guy and this guy. And then we should actually have cleared out the monsters down below. Except for that guy that's standing and laughing at you. You could actually trick the game. If you're standing there and like laughing at you, you can actually do the exact same as I did in was it Stonehill? Because he doesn't actually move away when you stand too close this way. So you can actually jump up and spit fire as you jump. Or you can do the chase and run around the building like 10 or 20 times until you catch him. How's a dragon supposed to flame metal armor anyway? Remember, Spyro, flame won't work on metal, but charging with your horns, that should do the trick. On metal armor, well, pretty, pretty much get a yout in the head if you actually ram into metal. But then again, it's only metal armor, so probably the thing behind the armor is pretty soft, or it will have to be, else it probably hurts. Anyway. As you can see, between the big buildings, there's actually a life and gems, and you want to collect that. Now let's jump up the ladder. Now you probably see, oh, there is something here I cannot destroy, no matter how much I ram into it. Well, the trick is, if you look down at that platform, where we were before, where we nearly killed the thief, bomb, there is a fireworks. You want to do that. So we're gonna go all the way around. So we can actually reach that platform. And of course, you want to take the gems, so you know when you complete, when you actually have the other one. There we go. And let's take this right. Enzo! Hey, what's on the other side of that river? Why don't you glide there and find out? Well, not yet, mate. First, we're gonna have fireworks and those two boxes at the roof. So we quietly fly over here and spit the fire at the fireworks. And now we'll fly really fast over to the box. Let's destroy it. Then we're gonna keep flying to reach these two. 
Now we should be nearly complete over here on this side. Nearly. Nearly. At least until we have to cross the water. But we are not 100% complete on this side yet because there is also boxes on the far. You can probably not see it from here, but if you can, you have good eyes. I can see them, but I also have good eyes. Plus, I know where, where they are. Anyway, let's fly over to this island. It can be a little bit tricky to do it at the first try. That, that means you're good. You know what you're doing. And here the birds are just standing and watching you. If you're flaming them, they can actually end up at the pole, the gems. And Spark will, won't collect dudes that is actually up on the pole. So you have to actually jump up and collect them. If you wait till they actually fly down, like they do now, you can just easily burn them and actually not have an issue. All you can do as I normally do is just run and random. But I'm gonna show you a little bit slower this time, so you can actually keep up. Also so you can see where I'm actually moving. Because when I'm just rushing around the map like I normally do, sometimes it's hard to keep up. Mako. You've reached the highest point in Clifftown. You can get to almost anywhere from here. If I were you, I'd use that whirlwind over there. Oh, well, you're absolutely right. We should fly over here. So we can get these boxes and fly over here and get these two and to think oh now we have a lot but we're still missing so many gems so where could they be well there's two gems here oh so where is the rest now i show you because whenever you use sparks he will just point down to nothing oh he will point at something you just can't see it because you have to jump behind the building. And over here, there will be a lot of gems. And there's a 25 into this one. By the time you collect these, you are actually done. Yeah, tricky. If you don't know, you probably wouldn't look. Unless you're actually thinking beyond your, your look. But... This was this map, and thank you for watching. We will see each other in the next video. Bye bye.